Hey everybody, it's Sunday, it's football in the air. Oh, it's a little cooler here in the uh, D.C. area than it's been all week. Great day for football. Everything's starting. I've been getting inquiries about how do I run my bracket, how do I run my survivor bracket. Well, I'm going to get you all your stuff answered here. i got a great file that is going to be released in the, uh, in the links below. You can download uh, this thing as it is right now, and I'll show you what's in it, and you can get going. I've got it set up to handle uh, 10 people's entries, but you can expand it to do as many as you want. So, what are we looking at? We're looking at a bunch of different sheets here. One, two, three, four, five, there's like six, maybe even seven somewhere, I don't know. There's a lot in here. Let's start with just your regular picks. Let's start at the beginning with just picks. And so, in the survivor pool, you have to pick a team every week. You can't pick the same team twice. And they just got a flat out win. It's easy as easy as could be. So if you had chosen Seattle for week one, you would have won because that's the only game that has happened as this as of this recording. So uh, that would have been a win. If uh, you if you still had to make a pick because you didn't pick Seattle and you wanted to pick any of the other teams, I have ways of looking at hey, who should you pick? Who would you want to pick? And the Choices are uh, lined up by different scoring scenarios, like how many uh, more points per game did they have differential last season. This is all based off of 2013, last year's stats. So you know that's that's a big caveat. Is it's last year? It's not current yet, but it will be current as I update this every week. Now I set up a little max thing over here, so it tells you what the best one was. So if you said, "Hey, I just want to look at week one because it's the only we care about." I'm picking that today. You know, it's game starting in an hour. Okay, I set up this thing to color up to say what's the, the one that had the highest percentage likelihood of a win according to my scoring stats based on last year's stuff. And it's Carolina over Tampa Bay. Okay, so that would be your pick. So if you had to pick today, that's what I would do according to this. So I'm going to pick Carolina. Now, here's a problem. Things just went pink. Why? Because I had laid out the rest of my season already, and in week two I had chosen Carolina. So now i got to pick somebody else in week two for Carolina. Well, I can go to this pivot. I can go to here. I can say, all right, I just want to look at week two's information. We get our nice green line again, and it's New Orleans over New Orleans. New Orleans. I had somebody at a poker table last night tell me it's New Orleans. I was showing this to him on my Surface, sitting there playing poker. Anyway, uh, so New Orleans over Cleveland in week two. So now let's go back to my picks and let's choose New Orleans. So let's go check out New Orleans. New Orleans. Boom. Okay, we're good. We're no pink, so we haven't duplicated. But I could go through this and look through everything. Maybe you should, especially if you're going to do this week by week. And I'm going to update this with, instead of last year's stats, which are over here now, I'm going to update it with the current season stats starting week one, boom, bang, walla kadooza. I should put in the ones from the Seattle uh, Green Bay game, but as soon as we get the week up, we'll do it early into next week. So a lot of stuff we can do with this. Now, what do you do? Say you get somebody's picks. Somebody's done. Let's see how many minutes are right to this already. Three, not bad. All right, let's see if we can get this under 10. So you get somebody's picks, right? It's a commercial break. You don't want to watch uh, an ad for a, a snazzy car insurance or beer commercial ad. And you want to add someone's picks who just emailed to you. They emailed you this. If you sent them the Excel or you just send them, say, you know, you got your, give me your teams. They give them however, however they give them to you in this format. You take this. And I've got an entrance pool sheet. And I already added two fake entrants. I did one entry for me and then one entry for me here again and it just lists all 17 games right here so we can go to this picks here and we just change some stuff right we can just grab teams we copy go to the entrance pool and the next free entrant line you can see they start in yellow you can paste you can paste values you can paste any way you want and it's fine and then who is this entry all right this is our uh this is our more educated guess, if we were to call it that name. And so now we've added that name, and that's entry, um, entry number three. And then you'd go on and you'd add the next person at the next commercial break. When the actual scores come in, 
we've got this pivot over here so that when the actual results happen, which is right here, you can see the only game that we have a result done for so far is Seattle. Uh, but as soon as these games start happening, I'll do some more quickies and and you know, and also I'll update the file so it's live and you can download the updated file. And it'll just score itself. Um, it's kind of cool. I'd like to see what the results are based on, you know, let's go back to week one in our pivot sheet. And we can do all some crazy stuff with slicers later that I will show you. But um, I want to see if these scores work out. I want to see if New Orleans beats Atlanta, if Cincinnati beats Baltimore, because that's what the negative means. This is the team of reference, and this is their score or their guess that they're going to win the game. Is Chicago going to win? Is, you know, there's there's the, the reversal of this game, right? These two games are the same, but you could choose either team, so you have to show what it looks like when you choose that team versus you choose the other team. And that's what these positive and negative bars are for over here. Stop clicking. So, a uh, lot to do. You, you end up getting your results sheet as you update these games and you start filling this stuff in. You choose Melvin's, and then you go back to. Uh, your um, your entrance pool and you refresh this and what you have is you have everybody's name of who won and who lost and the wins are just blanks you don't have to show all the entries of the blanks you can start building slicers like I have entry names here and you can say I care about just these are the real three entrants so who's winning right now well Ken has one point and Ken second missed a point we can change the design on this so it's a little easier to read sort of um, it would show teams, it would show stuff. You also are able to do cool stuff in the pivot here where you can look at just teams, you know, just your team of reference that you want and check out their schedule. And when you see what their schedule looks like, all those max formulas I made are still going to work the same way. And you can say, all right, I care about the skins because I'm, I'm a skins fan. I'm rooting for them today at 1 o'clock. Um, as you can see, based on last year's stats, which were not great, they didn't have a lot, a lot of green and blue. So the best game, which this look at this, the best one is today. So they're the best. If you were going to choose the skins one time this season, now would be the time, according to this thing. So um, that's cool, and I really hope they win today. And that's a good note to end on. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, you can give me a call on my. Uh, on my Google Voice online number, um, which is 703-662-3271, and uh, get your pool or get your survivor pool or whatever you have going, friends at work, or do whatever you do, have fun with it. Um, it's really cool, and it's only going to get better throughout the season. So 